Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope so you are doing well and you are good wherever you are. So let's address the three questions that we are going to talk about in next few minutes. First question that half plant is potential to charge your phone. Second question which process is indirectly or directly associated with this technology and third question that how can we do it. So our first question is how plants are potential to charge our phones. The reason is because of microbes. Microbes a population that is sometimes called as our enemies and sometimes as our friends. Here it is playing a role as a friend. This particular technology can be called as plant microbial fuel cell or in a very simple language a plant battery. So now the second question. Which process is directly or indirectly associated with this particular technology? The first process which is indirectly associated with this technology and governs this process is photosynthesis. Yes, we all know that plants do photosynthesis and make a, their own food. So this organic matter is then transferred to all the parts of the plants and maximum amount of this matter is excreted out of the roots. So what happens here is microbes utilize this organic matter for their growth and survival. This is the direct process which is connected to this technology that is metabolism of bacteria near roots. Okay, so now we address our third question that is how can we do it? The process when we hear it seems very easy but it isn't. The, pro the thing what we can do is we can have a setup of cathode and anode inside a plant pot in our home and we can attach a circuit to the same which can measure the flow of the current. If an electrical engineer, a chemical engineer and a biotechnologist comes together to work for the same technology then it's possible that in future we may charge our phones with plants, we may light up bulbs with plants and what, and what not. So thank you so much for watching this video. If anyone wants to discuss more about the same you can ping me on my science share Instagram handle or you can mail me at science share 700 at the rate gmail.com.